we are in working alongside with government their policy of protecting Grenada's marine resource um, about 25 percent by the year 2020. So we are spearheading the and controlling the the uh, the MPA right and this fish sanctuary. Um, this is probably the first of its kind in the OECS islands where you have actual fishermen and fisher folks taking part and taking control of the whole management process. In anything you do it's always good to to be successful you have to do it sustainably and uh, usually what has happened in the past is that it was a free-for-all anything goes but what it is now that uh, Grenada has uh, signed up to certain international obligations. So this is a step not only to satisfy our other obligations, but also it's a step in the right direction for our local fisheries. Because it's always beneficial if you could conserve. And at the same time, with our marine resource, we have uh, multiple users. It's not only the people that go and fish. You have people that want to go for recreational use. Some people would say a fish is worth more alive than dead because you, people would come and have toes and pay to come and see it. Some people want to see it in a natural habitat. So it's a combination of users that, use the, that uh, will be using it. So we have to try to satisfy everybody. Over the years, we found out that there is a depletion in stocks of our marine resources. There is a depletion in stocks of um, smaller fishes. And so we are very concerned about that. And as a result of that, we are working alongside government to ensure that in the future, we have fish and we have beauty under the sea. Um, as part of the project too, um, a building has been started, it's well on its way and so on, where the office of the MPA for GOV is going to be housed and is going to be vested in the GOV Fishermen Cooperative Society Limited in a building that they, they, they own. So in addition to the MPA we are doing a FAD which is a fish aggregating device outside so the fishermen of St. Mark and St. John's could come in and, uh, and fish there and this, this uh, the device would have all the fish aggregating in uh, close proximity so you do not have to burn a lot more gas to go or go out further and the environment would also benefit because you're not putting any emissions in the atmosphere so in all it's uh, everybody would uh, benefit and uh, in areas that had MPA today you are seeing the benefits so we know that is the right thing to do